Yeah, and speaking of Mexico, they've made news in the last couple of days. They unveiled a preliminary squad for this summer's Copa America. Jimmy Lozano naming 31 players. He'll have to cut that down. But there are some very notable omissions. No Guillermo Ochoa, no Raul Jimenez, and no Chucky Lozano. All right. So I think that this is an admission from both coach and federation that there is a problem. Okay. It's not unfixable, but there is a problem. And if there ever was a moment in order to address the problem, it is this summer. I think that they have recognized that this team has gotten long in the tooth and whether it's relative, it's, I don't think it's relative to the tournaments uh, this summer, but it's relative to what is coming in 2026. If you notice Bunch of players uh, from the under-23 team, the Olympic team, I think are being groomed to matriculate up to the full national team. Uh, if you notice, some of that old guard is out. And it's not that you know Ocho and others might not still play a part in the future, but I think that this is the leadership saying, if we're going to change, we have to change, and we have to change dramatically, and we have the perfect opportunity this summer. And I don't think they're just throwing away their performance relative to... Uh, the Copa America. But I think they're saying, you know what, we need to use Copa America and use the Olympics, which which Mexico has a history of doing in order to refresh this team. Because if we just continue with what we're doing for the next two years, we will get our ass kicked in 2026. And just as I said for Canada and the US, it is important that Mexico show well hosting the World Cup in 2026, obviously in all of our backyards. Yeah, Ochoa did not surprise me that much. There's a growing sentiment that Luis Malagón, the America goalkeeper, should be the starter for Mexico. Jimmy Lozano has seemingly come around to that view, and he figures that if Ochoa is not going to start, better to not bring him in at all to avoid any controversy there. And then on the Raul Jimenez front, I think they finally decided to hand the keys to that attack to Santi Jimenez, which is something they probably should do. They've been reluctant for some reason the last couple of years, but he is their best center forward. Chucky Lozano, though, shocked me because despite everything you said and all their recent struggles and the desire to blow it up and start over, I still thought Chucky would be viewed as a part of the solution, not a part of the problem. And it is a remarkable fall from grace for him. He's only 28. And I remember six years ago when you and I were in Russia covering that World Cup, you couldn't walk five feet in Moscow without seeing a Mexican fan with a Chucky Lozano jersey and singing songs about him. I mean, he was the Mexican star. And in the last several years, it's kind of fallen apart for him. And, and look, he's he's still a talent. And like I said, he certainly could still be there. But, you know, I, again, I think Jimmy Lozano said, I have got to do this right now. Because if I don't, there's a chance that I'm going to get fired. And if I do make it to 2026... There's a chance that we could get our asses uh, handed to, and I don't think he wants to do that. So I, I gotta credit, I gotta credit him, and I have to credit to a certain extent this federation that is off maligned for at least I think from the outside recognizing that they needed to do something and they needed to do something bold at this moment. Moment in the same way that we talk about Greg Berhalter relative to the summer, I think everybody, whether it's Canada, the United States, or Mexico, relative to 2026, is really looking at this summer as you know the 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 start of the 2026 campaign, if you will, and the last moment when you can start to make some dramatic changes. So uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. I, and from the outside, it was they probably should have done it earlier. Now, I mentioned that Mexico called up 31 players they are going to have to cut that down. We're not sure if it's going to be cut down to 26 or 23. The Euros have already decided it's going to be 26 player squads and everybody expects the Copa America to follow suit, but they haven't confirmed that yet. Uh, Brazil, incidentally, named their final squad for the Copa America already. They named 23 and then said they're going to add three later if it ends up being 26. That was the other big news uh, the last few days. I posted about it on X. Brazil continuing their odd habit of naming their squads way in advance, way earlier than anybody else, which means a manager has to try to guess on the injury recovery of certain players. I don't like that. Nevertheless, uh, I was pleased with the squad. Um, Dorival Junior, I think, is off to a pretty good start in the Brazil bench. Uh, now, I will say, I think he called up a good squad relative to the players we have available now. But all those larger narratives about Brazil remain. This is far from vintage Brazil. It's a transition period. And so I saw a lot of U.S. fans on X posting, we could beat this team, and they should feel 
that way. This is not that intimidating of a squad. The names don't pop that much. And any top 20 national team, including the U.S., should view a game against Brazil right now as eminently winnable. So I completely understand that reaction from U.S. fans. Nevertheless, I was fairly pleased with the squad that Dorival Jr. named. I feel like I have to push back uh, a, a little, Mossy, in that, you know, I I've, I feel like I've been the Brazilian over the last couple of years here in terms of the bullishness that have I, I have had for this Brazil team. And I, I feel like it's, it's almost a backhanded compliment that you're preempting this if and when the U.S. team were to beat Brazil. It, it wouldn't be that big a feat because in your eyes, this team isn't that isn't that good. And and while the names don't pop, I will give it to you in the way that they have in the past, this is still a good quality team. This is still, I think, an elite team. And this is still a team that if the U.S. were to beat them, it would be worthy of celebration and praise and certainly would check that box relative to Greg Berhalter and, you know, the narrative out there that he doesn't have that one defining uh, type of uh, moment against an elite opponent. So I think that I'm going to, I'm going to still say that this is a much better team than you will give it credit credit for. I'm excited to see it. Uh, and who knows, maybe some of these names come 2026 will have established themselves in this summer. And even though this, even though they're the same names, your reaction might be very, very different when that, 23 roster or 26 roster comes out for 2026. And we should remind people, no Neymar. He picked up an ACL injury late last year, not back yet, so he's going to miss this Copa America. The attack has a real La Liga flavor. You've got Vinicius Jr., Rodrigo, and Endrick, who's going to be a teammate of Vinicius and Rodrigo with Real Madrid this upcoming season. You've got Rafinha at Barcelona, and then this kid Savinho, who's been a revelation at Girona this season, is likely headed to Manchester City. Uh, for the next campaign. The uh, midfield is all Premier League players. I'm hoping the starting trio ends up being Douglas Luiz, Bruno Guimarães, and Lucas Paqueta. You've got the PSG pair at the back and Marquinhos and Lucas Beraldi. You've got Gabriel Magalhães from Arsenal. You've got Eder Militão from Real Madrid. Uh, goalkeepers, Allison Ederson and the emerging Bento. So, uh, yeah, there's some talent there. It's a young squad, but some players that I do like. Uh, we'll see. We played the U.S. in a friendly before the Copa America. Hopefully Brazil doesn't embarrass itself in that game. Oh, my God. Yeah, it sounds like a horrible team. <laughs> um, you like that clip? Well, my State of the Union podcast drops twice a week right here on my very own YouTube page. The only way to stay up to date is to hit that subscribe button down below. Size the day and see you soon.